A friend of mine recently asked me if I've noticed a decline in cybersecurity communities participation. At first, I didn't think much of it, but it started to gnaw at me. I decided to look into it a little bit, and here is my theory as to why that is. Over the past few years, I've noticed a decline in cybersecurity job postings. This is stated in an article released by InfoSecurity Magazine, which references a study done by CyberSN, which claims cybersecurity job postings in the US decreased by 22% from 2022 to 2023. Additionally, there was a buzz on LinkedIn a few months ago, where someone posted their interpretation of ISC Square's own data, showing there are a large number of layoffs and expectation of declining employment base for cybersecurity professionals. I searched a few job posting sites that I'm sure everyone is aware of. The results of one of them was surprising. I filtered the search results to only remote roles in cybersecurity for any experience level, and did the same for cloud engineering roles. To my surprise, there was a 20 to 1 job posting ratio, cloud to cybersecurity respectively. Why is that? My theory is that, generally speaking, there is currently more demand for cloud engineering than cybersecurity due to cost to businesses. Cybersecurity is almost always seen as a cost burden on a company. Cloud engineering may also be considered a cost burden, but viewed as necessary to take a product to market, whereas cybersecurity isn't. So what happens now? Microsoft announced layoffs in Q1 of 2025, targeting gaming, experience and devices, sales, and security. This will most likely be misinterpreted by fast-following companies who will subscribe to the notion of, well, if Microsoft is laying off in security, so will I. It's even easier to do so when companies already want to cut that cost to begin with, so any reason will do, thus contributing to the already messy state of cybersecurity hiring and the reduction of participation in cybersecurity communities. People can't get into the field, so they move on. If you're interested in learning more, please consider subscribing to my channel where I have more content covering the state of cybersecurity and tech in general. This is Hack and Kraken. Thanks for watching.